All right, welcome back. How we doing? Fantastic. I like that. We're going to improve upon that. Quick recap, Miss Carolyn. We have, since we've seen you last, it's been about, what, a month, month and a half? Yeah, about a month. Month. We have increased intestinal mobility. Yep. We've lost about eight pounds. Yes. And we've got some increased emotional stress in certain areas. Right. And in other areas, we've got a decrease. Absolutely. <laughs> and it looks like you're coming more into presence and into your body. Yes. And what else do we have going on that's changed for better? Um, how's your body healing? Uh, I feel like I'm healing, healing faster, mm -hmm. that I'm more in tune with what's going on mm -hmm. and able to I just feel like as things are lining up more mm -hmm. that I'm able to like hear what my body's telling me more Wow so basically <laughs> body's coming into alignment the spine but also your actions your mindset everything yes and so the signals becoming more clear absolutely so you're tuned in yes come on that's uh, that's what we do here align in spines and minds let's do it all right let's see how that body's responding now all right so we're gonna have your hands here we're gonna go like this Push the hands together. Okay, keep your arms locked. We're gonna look up here. Push. We're gonna look up this way. Look down that way, please. To the right, down to the right. Down and to the left. Push. Do it again. Got it, so we've got left. Same room, down and to the right again. Right, right. Mm-hmm, straight to the left. Straight to the right. Up and to the left. Got it, head relaxed. So we're checking her nervous system <coughs> for connectedness, for clarity. When you move the eyes in a certain direction, that can indicate a certain subluxation pattern. The brain basically and the eyes are not tracking together. The eyes connect into the brain. Uh, excuse me, the brain and the body are not tracking together, so the eyes and the body. And what we're going to do is correct the subluxation. And then what we're going to do is go through, rehab the appropriate muscles because she does have a surgery in her lower back. In addition to that, uh, we're going to do some mind body connect stuff as necessary and uh, this is where the healing happens we're going to breathe in nice and deep and out yeah that feels good welcome home i've been waiting for this since i left <laughs> yeah yeah it's uh it's really an amazing thing to just connect yeah great and then we're going to have your hands here again. We're going to go like so. Push together. And then eyes up and to the left, please. Beautiful. Down and to the right. Down and to the left. Excellent. Straight to the right. Excellent. Okay, we're done. No. <laughs> that was amazing. We're going to go face down now. <clears throat> It's a beautiful thing to become more connected and more certain, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> so we're checking the tone of her muscles. <clears throat> when somebody has a lot of tension in their upper back and their neck, the trapezius muscle wants to arch forward. If I simply squeeze, it'll release a little adhesion between the clavicle and the trap. And we're assessing her upper ribs upper rib subluxation is a big problem with a lot of people, especially when you work at a desk as Miss Carolyn does. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at the lower back pushback, my dear. So I push back this way. Okay, we're getting good firing. Both hamstrings push in here. Piriformis. Pull in. Excellent. Let's get a close-up of this scar again, Sav. Quick reminder, the surgery she's had, if you take a look, we'll go ahead and add in a clip right here of her x-ray. And you can see what that looks like on the inside. And while we're here, uh, we can go ahead and pull in again, Miss Karen. Okay, we're gonna push in here. Pushing again. Pushing again. Push. 
push, push, push. Okay, beautiful. I'm gonna take a targeted approach to doing some muscle rehab. <clears throat> We're gonna work on her piriformis. <clears throat> so we have a unique combination of subluxation like we would adjust in any of our patient population. We've got post-surgical artifacts, i.e. screws in the spine, and that affects the muscles and the way the muscles fire and try to support and stabilize and compensate. So we do a specific type of muscle rehab in order to help stabilize what's the, uh, the already existing neurological firing of the muscles. And then of course we do specific scientific chiropractic adjustments which uh, you don't know are kind of a big deal. Breathe deep. Breathe in nice and deep. Stop breathing. She's one step ahead of me. We're doing what's called a strain counter strain. We're going ahead and reset the firing of her piriformis. And we're going to relax the shoulders. Sometimes that defensive posture comes up a little bit. <laughs> we're going to breathe in nice and deep, Miss Carolyn. All the way out. Chin up ever so slightly, let it go. Beautiful. Deep movement there, a lot of inflammation. There's a single hand adjustment over the T12 vertebrae. Those nerves go to the diaphragm. Helps us breathe. They also go to the spleen, which is an immune organ. T7, we're gonna breathe in. And out. Excellent. It's one of my favorite adjustments on Carolyn here. The upper thoracic. Single hand adjustment on T4, those nerves go to the stomach, the parietal cells secrete hydrochloric acid, they go to the heart, the lungs, you can see the inspiratory capacity, the respiratory volume increases when you release a subluxation, the tone in your upper traps is calm, I mean look at this, this is, this is, this is Carolyn, Amy, yeah. this is, look at this, this is Carolyn there, that's better, right? Yes. And then we're going to go to Larry in the back, please. I've been wanting that for weeks. The, the body craves, right? Oh, it's, God, it's, not just a thing, uh, it's not just a thing that I, that I talk about alignment. It's actually the natural state of the body. So the body craves it. I'm going to bring this out this way, my dear. So we're going to scoot just a little bit over to your side. There we go. Hips relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And so, um, so here, um, most people that have... <laughs> that have lower back problems or hip problems. <clears throat> in fact, most hip problems are lower back problems that have basically, you know, degenerated to become hip problems that haven't been dealt with. Most muscular imbalances, tightness of the adductors, the hamstrings, the glutes, all this area is compensatory to the lower back. So, Carolyn knows. Have you become more flexible? I've actually been doing work on it. So, mm -hmm. I have these two there's like these two balls and you put them mm -hmm. in different places. And like then you lacrosse just, balls? Right, or, and then yeah. you just like kind of open up. Yeah. And yeah. so I've been working with somebody to start um, doing some of that work. Mm -hmm. And I actually put two balls right here and did split sideways and just oh, wow. sat on that yesterday. And I was like, whoa, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, that's how, you know, a lot of yeah. times like people that do either ballet or gymnastics and that type of thing, calisthenics workouts, that's how they stretch. So yeah, you feel way more flexible mm -hmm. there. Good job. I've been running too. Wow, how uh, how far and how often? Oh, I started doing it this past week. Um, probably three times this last week, just because it feels good. Let's watch that bruise on that one foot. This one? Yeah. Because <laughs> um, it feels good. So probably about two and a half miles, so I'll run and then I'll walk fast and then mm -hmm. I'll run and I'll, you know, because it, because running because I want to, because it feels good, mm -hmm. not because I have to, not because I'm trying to lose weight or whatever, just because yeah. I just feel like I want to get out and move. It's a great exercise. Yeah. I applaud you on that. 
We're going to adjust her first cuneiform now. We're going to breathe in nice and deep, all the way out. So there we go, right there. Foot is well subluxated there. She's also got a bruise. She kicked something. I walked into a fan. It happens. Ooh. Nice and tight there, so we'll come back to that. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and lay face down again, please, Miss Carolyn. <clears throat> with a case like Carolyn, we set aside quite a bit of time to work with her. It's a complex case when you have um, metal hardware in the spine. Um, we also have um, her x-rays, uh, both on the computer but also on my phone. I keep a file handy, that way I can look at it and reference accordingly. And um, I just want to give her that really, really high level of specificity with care because um, anything you do, the more specific you are, the better you're going to do. So with chiropractic, certainly that applies drastically. Um, hips relax, my dear. There we go. Shoulders relaxed. Hamstring curl here. Push back. So with Carolyn, <clears throat> I've done my own analysis, uh, seen the films, marked the films, interpreted them, pushed back. But I take it a step higher because I look at it as such a privilege and an honor to work with the body, especially that has hardware in it. I want to be so careful, not because I doubt what I'm doing, but just to give her that level of respect. And I imagine if it were me and I had metal in my spine, just to, to double and triple check everything I do, so that her body has the absolute best chance at healing. Push back again. Push, push, push. Hips relaxed. Push back and push back. Okay, we're gonna have you on your right side, my dear, facing me. We're gonna bend here like so. Hips relaxed. such a blessing to work with somebody who's so connected <clears throat> and so much wants to heal. Um, I know I've been in times in my life where I've wanted to accomplish something and maybe um, maybe my level of commitment wasn't what I thought it was in accordance with what I really wanted. And uh, of course then when you don't accomplish what you want, you have to go back and reassess that level of commitment. And then to see someone like Carolyn who's totally connected and totally committed, it's, it's really humbling. It is, it's a beautiful thing to see someone like that. Hands here. Push towards the middle. Eyes up here. Eyes over here. Eyes down and to the right. Down and to the left. Straight down. Head relaxed. What is that one? Uh, sacrum, base posterior sacrum. That occipital adjustment was amazing. <laughs> really needed to move. Very liberating. Wow, so good. Go face down again, please. I've had two three hour massages, deep tissue as well. Oh, wow. The poor guy, after two hours, I, go, I haven't even flipped over yet. I'm like, can we do another hour? <laughs> <laughs> you need to break the guy. That's awesome. Sometimes it's good to have body work, right? Push oh, back I here. Love it. Okay. Push back again. Again. Can't push. So we're at the. the Lower sacrum here, hips relaxed. Push back. 
push back. Yeah, hips relax. Does this feel good? Like, no, no help, no help. Good, bad, or indifferent? Uh, feels good. Okay. No. So we're stretching out the lower lumbar segments. Putting motion into that L5S1 joint. Push back, Carolyn. Hips relaxed. Push back again. L5S1 or what's fused? That would be correct. <laughs> Very true. Not going to be any motion there. Well, you'd be surprised. You're right. You're right. There's not going to be any motion there. But when we when we do this, right, we're going to get just a fraction of motion into that joint that we wouldn't otherwise get. Push back. Okay, and then one more. Push again. Okay, I'm going to have you on to your left side now, please do. It's getting easier though. I mean, it's not as intense as it used to be. You notice. Wow. Is that a beautiful thing? It is. Right. My body still remembers though, so there's still that, <laughs> that like fear, like, you know, waiting for it. What is fear, really? The opposite of love, right? It's so true. It's so true. So positioning and placement is so critical with uh, proper side posture adjustment, especially when you have hardware in the spine, like the hips. Wow, I'm noticing there's so much less tension over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, before it really bothered me just mm -hmm. to even put me in this position. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't, yeah, you were very uncomfortable. Right, it was pulling like just in this position. So like right now, I barely, it's barely pulling. Like it's so much better. Amazing indeed. Breathe in. You know. Loose here. Still sinking in, but I, I'm amazed at because the pull was so intense the last two times. I mean, it was painful, and there was barely anything now. Like I did, just felt like it was never going to go away. You're so ready. Oh you're, my you're, god. Yeah. yeah. That one, I'm still feeling it. Of course, of course. Oh. We recently had another practice member, Star Care, who has rods in his spine from the mid to the lower thoracic, so the, the, the mid vacuum. And his goal that he expressed to me was that he wants to get rid of the rods. And I said, great, I've seen people do that. If you send you back to the surgeon, in some cases it's more likely than others, et cetera, or more wise. And I said that what we've got to do is overcome the rods. So you have to have as much motion as we can in the areas of the spine that can move as much strength as possible. And then that's a possibility. And so what we want with you is to have as much motion as we can in the areas that need to move, mm -hmm. as much flexibility and as much strength surrounding those areas so that whether or not you want to remove them is a personal choice, but the strength and stability goes to another level. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. And you're on your way. Yeah. That was good. Hands up here. Straighten that out. Push towards the middle. Eyes straight down. Beautiful. Eyes straight up here. Eyes straight to the right. Straight to the left. Down into the right. Down to the left. Up into the right. Up into the left. Up into the right. Hands relax. And out. And in. And one more in. That's good. 
to describe what she's feeling. It's, um, it's a relief, connectedness, easier to breathe maybe, easier to be still in your own body. Yes? Yes. Answer. Push towards the middle, up and to the left, up and to the right. Amazing. You're done. <laughs> Gosh, that was so much easier. Because we did the work. Right. Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm really amazed at that side. Because... Your body's ability to heal. Because it's, I mean, it was intense. I mean, yeah. it was, it's been a good two or three months of that side just really hurting me. Yeah. And, yeah, it was just, it just made me afraid of the adjustments because it was painful just to, to stretch that way. Absolutely. Although I know I require them, but, I mean... It's okay to be afraid. I remember the first time I ever got adjusted, I was terrified. And the more restricted, subluxated, stuck your vertebrae is, the more uncomfortable it feels. I get it. Right. Yeah. But you've done the work. We've done the work. Right. You've done a lot more than I have. <laughs> Whew. That's Amazing. Good. Um, if you guys recollect back to the first video we did, she could barely get up. Well, actually, she couldn't get up without assistance directly herself, so she's made it a long way. And um, today's just the first visit out of, we're going to see her again today, and then we're going to see her eight times total this week. So that's how we do it at Active Health. It's, a, it's an active role, so I'm excited. Blessings, my dear. Thank you. Of course.